Good morning. Welcome to class today. Today it's Hannah and me, Phoebe. Let's start off by singing some songs. The first song we're going to sing is Isn't He Wonderful? Isn't he wonderful, wonderful, wonderful? Isn't Jesus my Lord wonderful? Eyes have seen, ears have heard, it's recorded in God's Word. Isn't Jesus my Lord wonderful? Isn't he wonderful, wonderful, wonderful? Isn't Jesus my Lord wonderful? Eyes have seen, ears have heard, it's recorded in God's The next song we're going to sing is Father Abraham. careful. finding a wife for his son Isaac. When Abraham was old, he decided to find a suitable wife for his son Isaac. Abraham sent for his best servant. Abraham told his servant, I don't want my son to marry any of the local Canaanites. I am sending you to where I used to live. You will find a wife for Isaac there. The servant said, but what if she does not want to come back with me? Will I have to take Isaac to her? 
Abraham said, if she doesn't want to come, your task is finished. God has promised to give this land to my descendants. The servant collected 10 camels, just like these, and loaded them up for the road. He went to where Abraham came from and where Abraham's brother Nahor lived. When the servant arrived, he stopped outside the city and made his camels kneel down close to a well. Then the servant prayed, Lord God, when the woman come to the well, I will ask them for a drink. If one says drink and I'll water your camels too, let her be the one you have chosen for your Isaac. While the servant was praying, a woman came to the well. She was carrying a water pot on her shoulder. The servant asked the woman for a drink. She quickly lowered the jar and gave him a drink of water. And then she offered to get water for the camels too. The servant watched as the woman went back and forth from the well to fill a trough for the camel to drink. When she had finished, the servant took out two gold bracelets for her. The servant asked, who are you? The woman replied, I am Rebecca, the daughter of Bethuel. The servant was so pleased because it meant that Rebecca was related to Abraham. So the servant bowed his head and worshiped God. The servant said, Praise be to the Lord, the God of my master Abraham. He has led me to the family of Abraham. Rebecca was living with her brother Laban and his wife. When Laban heard about the servant's arrival, he came running to him. Laban was so happy to meet Abraham's servant and was very pleased when he saw the gifts that the servant had brought with him. Laban said, Come, you are blessed of the Lord. I have room for you and your camels and will have a meal prepared for you. The servant explained why he had come, then brought out gold and silver jewelry and gifts of fine clothes for Rebecca. He also gave expensive gifts to Laban and Rebecca's mother. The next day, Rebecca agreed to go with Abraham's servant on the long journey back to meet Isaac, her future husband. Isaac was sitting and meditating about God when he saw the camels and his servant appear. He ran towards them. Who is that? asked Rebecca. The servant replied, that is Isaac. Rebecca quickly covered her face. Abraham's servant then explained to Isaac everything that had happened. Soon after this, Isaac and Rebecca were married. Abraham's prayers had been answered, and the prayers of Abraham's servant to help him find a wife for Isaac were answered too. Isaac really loved Rebecca, and they later on had twin boys, Esau and Jacob. In today's story, we saw how God was so good to Abraham and his family. Let's sing God is So Good. been talking about how God is faithful and keeps his promises and is true to his word? Today we saw how God continued to do that. God had promised Abraham that he would be a father to many, but for a long time he didn't even have a son to fulfill God's promise. But we know that God gave Abraham a son to fulfill his promise. Do you remember his name? 
Hmm. Isaac. Yes, Isaac. And in today's story, we saw that Abraham really wanted to find a wife for Isaac. Why did Abraham send his servant to far away land to find a wife for Isaac? Well, Abraham wanted his son Isaac to marry someone from his country, and he didn't want someone from an unfamiliar land or family. Abraham told his servant all of this, and Abraham's servant was obedient in following Abraham's plan. But the servant also prayed to God, and God gave the servant wisdom to know how to find a wife for Isaac. Do you remember how the servant knew which woman would be the wife for Isaac? A hint. Look at this. The servant prayed that the woman who gave him a drink would also give the camels water to drink, and that would be the wife for Isaac. Yeah, and after the servant met this woman and found out that she was in the same family of Abraham, the servant knew that God was so good to Abraham and his family to give Isaac the right wife. So Rebecca left her home and met Isaac, and they got married. And Isaac loved his wife, Rebecca. God kept his promise to Abraham in growing his family. Abraham trusted that God would keep his word, and Abraham's family was blessed. It's a new month. You know what that means, a new memory verse. So I will show you the actions and the words, and you'll follow along with Hannah. Are you ready? It first goes, and remember. And remember. I am with you always. I am with you always. To the end of the age. To the end of the age. Matthew 28. Matthew 28. 20. 20. B. B. That means it's the second half of the verse. Let's do it all together. Are you ready? And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. Matthew 28, 20, B. You know what to do. After this, draw a picture of today's story and have your mom and dad send it in and send a video of you doing the memory verse. We loved watching it last week. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Bye.